Does a child need training at all? Yes, definitely the child needs training, but it has to be an age-appropriate training. So between one and a half and two years of age, the child will be passing urine and that is the time the child has to be told that it has to be wiped. So the child should be informed which cloth to wipe. By two years of age, the child should be instructed, okay, now that you're feeling to pass urine, come run, 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 run to the bathroom. So that is where the conditioning helps. So once the baby is awake, you are taking the baby to the uh, bathroom and making them pass urine with the tap, running tap. What happens? The child understands this is the place I have to pass urine or this is the place I have to empty my uh, bowel. So that conditioning has to take place around two years of age. But if the child is put on a potty and if the child is not passing motion, I have seen many parents sitting along with the child and trying to do all kinds of pushing moments, expressing to the child that you have to do and if you pass motion, you will be rewarded, etc. When this kind of training goes on, the child gets a sense of failure. Like, I have not passed urine, I have not passed motion. That means I have not lived up to my parents' expectations. And moreover, I have not seen success. And my parents are not happy, they are not relieved. So that makes them feel a sense of failure and makes this bubble elimination and bladder elimination a big concept in their psyche. And what happens, these are the kids who are vigorously toilet trained. They get into a phase of very bad constipation because they do not know when they are allowed to pass motion because they have failed their parents and the parents were ready to receive the motion. So they push the impulse. In fact, what happens is a child develops the inhibitory impulse much earlier than the eliminatory impulse at request. So what happens is inhibitory impulse is the one that makes a child not pass motion in a play school after a considerable period of time. They may get the urge to pass motion, but they will not pass motion. But as soon as they come home, once something goes into their tummy, it is a gastrocolic reflex. The stomach gets the food and the large intestine opens up. So that is the time they would want to pass motion. So midway through the lunch, they would want to rush to the toilet and pass motion. We will have to allow this to happen because over a period, the children learn to inhibit it during lunch and they would pass after that. So it is not necessary that we have to give vigorous toilet training, but we have to give an age appropriate guided toilet experience so that the child learns that certain things have to happen at certain places and it is better it is done at a particular time of the day. So let us not be vigorous toilet trainers and we will have to continue to encourage our children to enjoy elimination because without which they are going to ultimately have physical problems. Thank you.